Well, hello. Were you feeling a little bit annoyed today? Just feel like not getting any more pee than you already are? Well, <laughs> too dang bad. And just to prove my point, I'm gonna roll the intro to make you even more annoyed. All right, all right, all right, I get your point, I get your point, I'm gonna stop. And just get into these popular opinions because <laughs> They're even more of a doozy. Than when it comes to music, French just needs to stop doing these features. It's not working, all of them are trash, and I can't get jiggy with it. Literally, for example, No Limit. I have to squirrel every single time past his verse because it's that bad. Like, the hype just dies down on that verse. But when it comes to his own song, Handstand, for example, he did good. He killed that song. He was bringing out straight out bars. And I'm just like, dang, French, why don't you make your own music anymore? Because the thing is, I mess with French when it comes to his own music, just not when he's doing features. Like, features is not his best friend. School officials really need to tell the difference between the fighters and the self-defensers because lumping them together and punishing all parties ain't cool. You're basically punishing saying, hey, since you fought and did a live limp and wait for help, you're gonna be punished along right with it. But if I lie there and if I died, then you would have had blood on your hands. Then what you go? And I'm not about to lie there waiting for Prince Charming to come and help me. If someone is attacking me, then I have every right in my bones and in my fist to get them off of me and to get them away. If it means punching them, cold clocking them in the face, or just doing this or whatever, then I'm gonna get away with them and you can't tell me otherwise. I'm telling you, the many. <laughs> You when I found out what these freshmen, this um new class in my school was really about, I was like, mmm, I really wish they would try to put my hands on me and they say otherwise. I will get my lawyer, my lawyer stay down. Don't don't mess with me. Don't mm mm. Oh, that's just a mess. Super seniors should just go and get their GED instead of just redoing their senior year. Not only does it save you the embarrassment of walking the halls and getting all these smirks and remarks because you had to redo your senior year, but Mm. It also just gives you the opportunity to just work at your own pace and to just get some level of educa education so that way you can just move on. Because high school, because they don't care if you don't get a high school diploma, just if you get some type of like secondary education in your records, then jobs, most jobs don't care. They really don't. It's just that nowadays you can't get away with just having an eighth grade diploma. You need to get like some type of secondary um, education qualification, whether that be the high school diploma or the GED. Take your pick. And I cannot tell you how many super seniors that I know that just think that it's cool and stuff to be in high school. It's not. You actually look pretty freaking creepy when you're just hanging around a bunch of teenagers when you're clearly too old to be in this position. And before you say, well, everybody has their, yes, everybody has their struggles, but also people need to learn how to resolve their struggles instead of being, instead of playing this um, victim game and just sitting around and expecting the universe to help them. That's not how it works, sweetie. Alexis Demi did nothing but what people did back then, which is lie about their age to get into younger roles. And in this day and age of society and how they treat women in age, I don't blame her, but at the same time she is in definition taking a role that is supposed to be like if she's playing a 17 year old and she's in her 30s they could have gave gave that role to somebody who's 17 or he's been a little bit older like close in age like i wouldn't have had a problem with it if she was like 20 or 21 because somewhere close to that age you would have resonated with that but to be 30 like in your 30s that's nowhere near close to like say a 21 year old playing a 17 year old. And sometimes I wonder if Hollywood, like if people would just look into Hollywood problems, Hollywood weirds problems and realize that the reason why they do this is because they want to make shows and movies that cater to teenagers but shows a lot of sexual perversion and things that you can't do with minors. But they wanna make these shows and not, you know, cater to other issues that teenagers go through because not all of us just party and get down and stuff. Sure, it happens, but that's not all there is to being a teenager. It's more than that. Jada Pinkett should have knocked both they butts out. Both Will and Chris were in the wrong, and Jada should have knocked them both out because Will for laughing at that joke, but then going up to smack them, and then Chris for making that joke in the first place, and being a hypocrite, yeah, technically being a hypocrite because didn't he make a documentary on black hair, but then you're making fun of somebody with alopecia, a black woman with alopecia, and just basically people with alopecia as a whole, because even if it was directed towards Jada because of whatever beef that Will, Jada, and Chris have, whatever, it still could hurt somebody with alopecia on, like in the long run. Like, did he not think about that? I would have respected Will a little more for that slap if it was done backstage instead of in front of people because you have a public image to keep. When you're in the limelight like that and people have known your name for years, 
Shoot, forget that. Decades, then you need to keep a public image, and that's just how it is because people will take every opportunity to squash your public image for like some clicks, for some relevancy, for some drama, or whatever. And for you to do that, you basically got your butt banned from the Oscars for 10 years and also have people thinking that you're just this sensitive little husband that's basically being manipulated by Jada because now people are thinking that Jada is manipulative. Like, it's just a whole mess that like, could have been avoided backstage, for goodness sake. To brush your teeth and eat, you must be on some level of psychopath behavior because why? Why would you do that? Why would you brush your teeth with a toothpaste and then go in to drink some orange juice with some pancakes? You're tasting mint with the food. You're not even tasting the food when there's still mint. I don't even care if you wait a little while or if you like girl and stuff like that. It's still going to be there and it's going to defeat the whole purpose of brushing your teeth to get ready for the day because then you're just staining it because the thing is, is that when you eat and then brush your teeth you're brushing your teeth and keeping them clean until you eat lunch or whatever snack or meal but for you to brush your teeth and then turn around and eat there's no point because now your teeth are stained they're not clean anymore now that they have all these food particles and stuff in that so what was the point you need to brush your teeth you need to eat before you brush your teeth it's not that freaking hard I don't even care if you're in a rush. If you were in a rush, you probably would not brush your teeth anyway because when you're in a rush, you're just thinking about getting there. You're not thinking about whether or not you brush your teeth or not. Believe me, I know because I've actually definitely done that a couple of times. There are no two different roles when it comes to middle school and elementary school. They're basically the same versus like a little bit of homework and the transition practice from like going to one class to another. That's all that middle school is. Like it's not a different world than elementary school than like sitting down and stuff like that. So I don't know why people try to make it a big deal and stuff. Like middle school is literally three grades, six, seven, and eight versus elementary school, which is K through fifth. If you're really gonna break it up and not clump it together like a K through eight which I never really got trying to make separate schools for middle school when you could just have the sixth and seventh and eighth graders in that school. Heck, maybe if you didn't clump them in their own school, maybe some of them wouldn't get out their skin and thinking that they all grown and all that other stuff because these sixth, seventh, eighth graders, they have to be stopped. Like when you take them out of that kitty ish environment and expect all this, that, and the third from them, basically treating them like high school freshmen. Like I get that mentality for the eighth graders, but to start out with just sixth graders, like I don't get it. Like these are like essentially 11 and 12 year olds, they're not even teenagers yet. They're not even 13 yet. You're expecting all this from them? Like, no, uh -uh. you can miss me with that. You need to give, like, there needs to be a law where certain rights and privileges are given at 18 and then the rest is packing a punch at 19. I'm so sick and tired of this, oh, I'm grown, but let me call mom so I can get some money because I'm broke type of mentality. You want to be independent when it's convenient and then when it's not convenient anymore, you want to crawl back to your mama and your daddy or whatever because you know that they'll hook you up and stuff. Then you're not grown. If you have to 100% like, if you're still doing that, like this back and forth stuff, like it's not even asking for help every once in a while. It's like you genuinely just go back to them every single freaking time that there's a problem and you don't even freaking try to solve the problem on yourself. That's not being grown. That's you being a little kid depending on the people that took care of you. That's not you growing up. And there's more to being grown than just all of these rights and privileges like paying taxes, like bills having getting your own car paying for your own education and all this other stuff realizing when you're right or wrong and taking accountability knowing how to solve situations without trying to throw hands as if we're in a freaking schoolyard that's what being an adult is about why because the world doesn't treat adults who act that way kindly you can go you can go to jail baby girl i'm just saying but if you give these privileges and these rights to us at 19 years old, by that time, one, we'll already be out of high school, and two, some of us will be in college and we'll already get a claim to young adult life. So it'll be the perfect time for us to actually have those privileges. You're never gonna forget when a person has done you wrong. You're never gonna forget. It's always gonna be in the back of your brain, darling. And you know what, that's fine. Talk about it, but you're never gonna forget because if it packs a punch like that, if it packs you like that, then you're never gonna forget. It's 50-50 when it comes to the photographer and the camera. Don't think that it's just clicking a button and that it's all the camera and that you don't need a photographer or I don't know why photographers charge all this money. Baby, if you want to act like that, then why don't you take the pictures with your Samsung phone, with your iPhone SE? You know, I know you. I know why you won't. You want to know why? Because it won't look professional enough. It won't look like something like this. This is what you want. You don't want anything like this. And it's gonna look like that if you take it with your little phone and then do the editing and all that other stuff through your phone and all that stuff. There's a lot more to photography than what meets the eye for some of these people and that's the reason why 
um, shoot. Can I say it like we? Because I do photography. Like I do like photography gigs on the side and stuff. So I know like the ups and downs and the mechanics when it comes to photography. And it's not just the little thing. You gotta change lens, you gotta get to the client, you gotta set up yourself, like your branding, your face, your image, and all this other stuff. There's a lot that goes into photography than just what's there already in front of you. There's a whole back team in the back that you won't see, but now that I'm saying it, you need to acknowledge it, okay? Let women rock their pregnancy. Don't tell them you need to cover that up because you're sending us back into the freaking stone ages where they were telling women that you still need to look modest and look like you got a tiny waist with the baby inside. Don't do that because that's exactly how you sound. So for people like Rihanna to show out their pregnancy or people like Demi Moore who posted full nude on the cover, I forgot the cover, was she show full nude like in the 90s? Because then that means that they're embracing their pregnancy in their journey and that's what it's all about. Like they shouldn't care what other people think because your perception of pregnancy is different from other people's perceptions. If a woman if a woman wants to rock a bikini with a full belly, like an eensy weensy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini with a belly out, then let them do it. You ain't hurting nobody. Like if you don't see that, then just turn the other way. I don't get it. It's not that serious. Cause I know that or my brain. But see, I'm gonna show all out. Not like all out, don't get me wrong guys, but I'm not gonna be ashamed because that's just life. That's how we all got here. If it wasn't for that whole, if it wasn't for the journey, none of us would be here. Think about it like that. If you were deciding on moving to another country, do it. If you had planned, do it. Get out the US while you can, cause I have a feeling that they're gonna make it harder for even us to leave like they already made it to where it's hard for people to come in that they're gonna say americans we stick together we want our people to stay the same and we don't want this then the third they're gonna do i have a feeling they're gonna do that and make it even harder for people to leave and if the america doesn't do them that foreign countries that have some type of stigma already about how americans are they're probably gonna say oh we don't want them in our country and all this other stuff so leave while you still can before they start getting more strict because Dark days are ahead. Dark, dark days are ahead. Working out actually becomes a lot more tolerable once you get into your own groove. I know that people are gonna think that I'm crazy, but it's true because I've been working out for a while now, and once I figured out my own groove and the exercises that I want to do and the areas that I want to target, which are my arms, my booty, my gluteus maximus, and my abs, then it started to become easier for me because I knew exactly what I wanted to work out, even if it meant I gotta do for And I knew what my goals were, and I knew that the overall progress was gonna be fun, and I knew when to not push myself and all this other good stuff. So it becomes tolerable. Granted, I'm not gonna say that I haven't had my struggle days to the point where I've taken long breaks in between sets or where I just flat out refused. Mother Nature, are you serious right now? Sis, okay. But yeah, to where I just flat out refuse to do an exercise, but it's better than me just not doing it and ending, and ending up hurting myself. Which, if you can do an exercise, then don't do it at all because then you're gonna risk hurting yourself and not doing the exercise correctly, and then it's just gonna be pointless. So, so don't give up. I am definitely feeling some type of way about Demi Lovato and stuff. Ever since they came out as non-binary, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was rooting for them. I was rooting for them to embrace this new part of themselves and their journey and all this other stuff, but now it just seems as if it's all just for relevancy and stuff. And this isn't the first time that they has had like, um, like publicity stunts and stuff like that. Like people over the years have always thought that they was annoying and this, that, and the third. And I know, um, they have some problems, like I completely understand that, but it's just like, at this point, they need to take a long break, delete social media, gather themselves with a bunch of people that actually care about them, and just go on a deep cleanse hiatus. If it's for a year, two years, three years, I don't care. They, you need to focus on yourself because this ain't it. You're, you're making yourself look bad, pretty much. Definitely has changed for the worst, whether or not people see it or not. People who are saying it's hypocritical for Biden to make gun control regulations, but then giving weaponry to the Ukraine, listen up, you sound stupid. Because the Ukraine, they need them weapons. If not, then Russia, they gonna get a little bit handy, but handy, and Biden was just trying to send them stuff. Now, don't think I'm trying to defend Biden. I don't give two freaks about that man, but I'm just saying, why are you blaming him for trying to supply them with the weapon that they need to survive, right? Like that's none of your business. You're not over there fighting for your life. You're not over there trying to teach your kids how to use a rifle in case someone tries to come at them sideways. You're not the one who's looking on the ground and just seeing body after body and seeing buildings getting torn up on the sides. You're not experiencing that. So 
the best thing you can do is help them out and understand their situation instead of trying to quickly judge them so yeah give them their weapons so that way they can survive and you can shut the heck up because over here we do need gun control and fast it's been an ongoing issue for lord knows how long and when we gonna change it i think now the term knowledge is power really, really needs to be a more sense statement than go to college, get your life together, and da 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 da, et cetera, et cetera. To say knowledge is power can mean a lot of things. It means that you could get your knowledge from a trade school, from college, from community college, from um, an internship, an apprenticeship. Like, knowledge is power can mean a lot of things. And it means that you can learn what you love without just having to go to the college route because not everything involves college. It doesn't. You need to have, granted, you do need to have a stable plan because you just can't say, oh, I'm not going to go to college and then not say anything after that sentence. No, baby. You need to have a plan. And even if some people think that taking a gap year off, like taking a gap year off, I actually do agree that it could mess you up a little bit. But taking a gap year, like after it, they're like, go ahead, do what you do. Do what you have to do in order to get your life together. And while we're on the subject of college, here's my last the sentence, knowledge is power is more powerful and effective than go to college. Why? Because nowadays you don't need to go to college for everything. There are certain degrees and career pathways that does not involve dropping 31,000, 40,000. It doesn't involve dropping all this money and getting into student loan debt to learn these skills. You can learn it from an apprenticeship, from an internship, from studying abroad, from community college. There are whole bunch of community colleges that are affordable from online classes and stuff like that from working under someone that you've known that's been in the business if you want to start a business or something you can work under them well actually no that's apprenticeship but you get my point for people to just say oh go to college college is this college is important da, da, da. it's not in this day and age use your resources do your research because if you don't think it's worth it and you keep hearing people say that college is this, college is that, then you're basically forcing yourself based on what those people and what society says and then you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money. Shoot, even for community college, some people think that it's a waste of their time because if they didn't really like school to begin with, then going to community college is even going to be a bigger waste even if it doesn't involve all of that money. So exert your resources and think, hey, I have knowledge, but how can I expand that knowledge? And while we're on the subject of college, here's my last um, unpopular opinion. The U.S. is never going to offer free college. We're so deep in debt that they need our money. They need us to just go broke and in debt ourselves to just supplement whatever they have. So while other countries, they have the um, sustainable funds to have free college, the U.S. is never going to get on that level. Like, it's a cold day in freaking same hell that we're ever going to be on the level to have free college. And so we've come to the point of the video whether you've punched the air or even punched the wall. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it because opinions ain't going away anytime soon. They're here to stay. So whether you hear the raw version, unfiltered, popular, unpopular, or anything in the middle, whatever, they're still going to be here. So why, did, why don't you just soak it all in? Because you can actually hear and see a lot of people's perspectives on things or even see true colors and who wouldn't want to see that. And if you agree with that, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a sweet, sweet comment. Subscribe along with turn on the post notifications so you guys will be notified whenever I drop a new one. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, love you.